Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for mysterious islands? Or cutesy little toys? What's up, YouTube? It's me, your guy, T-Belly here, with a brand new video from Do You Nerd. What we have here is the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening box by Culturefly. This, of course, is courtesy of JLove81, who sent us a whole box filled with all kinds of fun things. It was really way too much. You are way too sweet. You are just totally awesome. Thank you. I think that this may work as a separate video. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to go yeah. through this to really give you guys a closer up or look at everything in there. I absolutely love the new style of Link's Awakening. I love that little, like, toy look to it. I love how it's kind of like, looks like little plasticky dioramas. Love it. I have fallen in love with the art style, the colorfulness of it. <laughs> yeah, now, like she said, we both really love the style of Link's Awakening. And there were a lot of fun little things that we got outside of the game, the Amiibo, mm -hmm. of course. Because we got a nice case for your Switch Lite, yes. things like that. We got the cups from... Canada, the 7-Elevens, yep. but for a while, I mean, anything that we saw that had Link's Awakening, mm -hmm. we were going after it. Still trying to get a hold of that keychain from Nintendo World <laughs> in New York. We got the button that was exclusive to Target for ordering the game, but since we couldn't get up to New York, so if anybody's got an extra one they don't want anymore, <laughs> you let us <laughs> oh, know. Yeah. First and foremost, this really is a gorgeous box. A lot of times you will come across boxes like this that have, you know, all mm -hmm. the fun stuff inside. And the boxes, you know, they might look like a console or, or have some kind of design yeah. or something. But ultimately, you may just kind of toss them. This one, this would be very hard to toss because not only do you have that beautiful front image, but all around it. It just, it's that kind of like bizarre looking thing. It looks like, you know, you're getting ready to go to a bazaar or something. So I really like that. And then the bottom actually is even really pretty too. I loves it. Let's see what's in it. This was one of the things that I thought you would really like. <laughs> plushies! I absolutely love my plushies and a plush shield is no different. So it's, it's like a tiny pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Just maybe don't try to uh, block any rock attacks with that. <laughs> Here's a fairly large item. Yeah, and you don't see these in too many crates, either mystery crates or ones you buy like this. They don't throw too many hats in there. That is a really cute hat. It's very Green Bay Packers color, so if you're a Green Bay <laughs> Packers fan, you can just, you know, you can wear this in response to it. But I love the, like, the little triangle design on the front. You've got a nice patch on the side of it, a Zelda emblem patch, and then a Link patch on the front. And it's a snapback. And it doesn't look like there's anything exciting on the inside of that. Wes from Got G has uh, taught me a thing or two about hats that sometimes on the inside they do fun stuff. So now, thanks to him, I uh, have to look under, under the brims and inside hats every time. Well, that goes with your shirt very well. Very nice. What do you think? I like it. Looks good. It's kind of weird me out. I'm not used to hats. I know. The only time I can wear a hat is when I'm at the pool. For some reason, it doesn't feel weird in a pool. Being that it's Culture Fly, you've got your 50% off. That's always helpful. I love discounts. Ba -da -da -da! All right, now this is really cool. It's very rubbery, which um, is really good. I think this, it's a, like a pencil pouch. But to me, the first thing that this says to me, since it's rubbery, is makeup brushes. This would be amazing for makeup brushes because once you get all your makeup brushes in there and it starts to get a little icky and dirty, you can just wash it out. You could probably also use this, since it's rubbery, as a treat bag. You carry your, yeah. your candies in it. We go to the movies a lot, so when we buy our candies and if we don't finish them, we can put them back in here. Uh, uh, we go to the restaurant, we have leftover food we don't know what to do with, we just put it Grab in the pouch. Grab all the bread. Yeah, you put all the bread in the pouch, because you can wipe it out and clean it out. This and is actually with it being so rubberized, cute. if you don't finish your wine, just pour that in there. If I think I'm about ready to get electrocuted, I will just step inside here and be grounded, so I'll be alright. Do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. <laughs> 
But for real, it is very neat yeah. to see a more, uh, you know, like practical. rubberized, practical thing, like a pencil case or makeup brush. Seriously, the makeup brush. Or just a, like a tiny makeup bag for your purse. I'll take your word for that. <laughs> oh, stickers. Oh, stickers. Oh, these are the old school sticker kind that are like the puffy stickers. Now, when we watched Jay Love's video showing off what was in this box and she got to the puffy stickers. I got very excited about the puffy stickers because all I could think of was turning these into little tiny magnets. That's going to be awesome. And then having so much fun with them either on the back of a metal door or on the fridge or something like that. Especially because you've got characters and the instruments. So you could even do the one scene, you know, where he's in the instruments are doing the round thingy and they're playing. I like the stickers. If we want to wake the wind fish. <gasps> Ta -da! Ta -da! And this, the piece de resistance. This was the reason I wanted this thing. <laughs> so I saw it and I was like, that is one cool water bottle. You get a carabiner. You can put this on your backpack or your, your hip or whatever. And it's just a good metal that is a good screw top. I remember her saying that like 9,000 screws. But yeah, it's just a nice metal bottle. This is perfect for conventions or just taking a walk somewhere. You just got a nice bottle with you. That is an awesome. And it's got that beautiful print on it. Hey, that matches the cups. It does match the cups. But these we're going to use. The last thing in the box to go with that... Uh stationary pouch you know that makes a little sense we got you know a stationary pouch we got some stationary so it is a nice notebook and uh i think that's just a little slip cover oh you open it up rupees. you're in the money we are rich look at all those rupees oh there's little palm trees on the bottom very very nicely lined pages not a lot of wasted space and yes those dividers. Those dividers are cool. They're like see-through dividers. You have the divider tabs up top. You know, it is nice stationary as far as the pages and everything, but the dividers, having taken it that extra yeah. step, it is nice to see that they are putting a little more thought into mm -hmm. the stationary itself. Maybe you know? they're not... starting to realize that they're doing too much stationary yeah, and they're you... trying to make it fun. It's not just a very generic notepad thrown in there, but yeah, they're trying to do more with it. Pretty good stuff in here. Again, this was another one of those you purchase at the store. They have a picture on the front of it. This time they showed you everything in there. Sometimes we find these boxes and they'll have one mystery item in right. there. But it'll be an outline so you can kind of guess what that mystery item is. But this one showed you everything that was in there so that you knew is this something I actually want to pop on. Seeing Jen's video made me want to get it more because I could see it tangible in her hand and kind of see the better quality that some of these things are. Because sometimes the pictures don't do things justice. What do you think would be probably your favorite item that was in the box? Um, honestly, I, I'm i kind of digging the book just Which because... Which is kind of funny. Yeah, because they, they went that extra step farther. Uh, I could see having, you know, the dividers, putting those to use. I think the only downside is that they predetermined where all the, all the dividers go. It looks yeah. like they're bound in there. It kind of would have been nice if you could slide those out. Mine is definitely the water bottle, but very, very closely with, with this. Because I do love my totes, my pouches. I'm kind of Deadpool in that regard. I love all the pouches. And this is a very useful pouch. I really like it. I, it's And it also feels weird. <laughs> just that rubber just feels weird. Well, nerdlings. Of course, we would like to know if any of you happened to pick up this box, what did you think? And did you have a favorite item in there? Did you pick it up just because it was Link's Awakening related? Or was there a specific item that you saw on that ticket on the outside that sold you? Once again, Jen, thank you so much yes, for sending this you, to thank us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This was such an awesome box. And Nerdlings, if you haven't already, of course, head on over to J Love's channel or check out our video where we show you everything that she was way too nice and sent us. Also, give the video a like if you happen to like it. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so you can see what crazy wacky thing we're going to do next. Don't forget to go over to TeePublic because we've got merchandise over there, nerdlings. And if we like it, we nerd it. And now, now we can go for a walk and we can collect things and drink things. And I'm going to write down and what you can write it all drink. down and I can keep the sun off my face. 
And then we can, here, come here, let's take a little nap. Yeah, a little nap. Little, for little me. nap. The piece, no, I don't know how to say that. Piece de resistance. Piece de resistance. That's pretty awesome. And your birthday. It is cute. I'm a little, I don't know why he's all sad though. <laughs>